here here this question is asking an angle modulated signal with carrier frequency omega c is equal to 2 phi times 10 to the power of 6 is described by the equation phi em of t is equal to 10 cos omega c t plus 0 0.1 sine 200 phi t find the power of the modulator signal find the frequency deviation delta f find the phase deviation delta phi and estimate the bandwidth phi em of t now let's see how to do that in the a part it's asking find the power of the modulator signal that is basically the amplitude square divided by 2 <coughs> the power of the modulated signal the power of the modulated signal is given by p is equal to a square divided by 2 that is in this case 10 square divided by 2 which is 100 by 2 that is 50 watts okay that's the answer for the a part now let's look at the b part in the b part the question is asking find the frequency deviation delta f now in order to do this problem you had uh, we have to know one relation that if we have a uh, let's look at the theta of t so here this is a cos theta theta is the whole expression omega ct plus 0 0.1 sine 200 phi t so instead of theta of t we can put this function right here that's inside of the cos that is omega ct plus 0 0.1 sine 200 phi t okay 200 phi t and from this one we we can find out the the frequency frequency of the message signal that is if we express this one in terms of 2 phi ft the fm is 100 here 2 phi times 100 t 100 hertz <coughs> and also we have to know another relationship that delta phi of t let's uh, do it in the next page delta phi of t is given uh, is equal to d theta of t divided by dt okay delta phi of t is equal to d theta de delta phi of t is uh, phase phase of phase and then uh, delta phi of t is equal to d theta by t, d theta of t by dt this is helpful because if you divide this one by 2 phi that is delta f delta f of t from that one we can find out the delta f of uh, delta f now here first let's find the delta phi of t we know that theta of t is equal to omega c t plus 0 0.1 200 phi t if we find the differentiation of this one with respect to t then we can uh, find the delta phi of t <clears throat> so let's do that here so if you do that uh, what's going to happen is let's do, do it right away so here if you find the derivative of this one this is going to be just omega c and uh, if you find the derivative of this one the sign will turn into cos and this is going to be a chain rule outside derivative and inside derivative outside derivative is sine turning into cos inside derivative is 200 phi t the t will be removed and 200 phi will be multiplied front so this is going to be 200 phi times 0 0.1 that's going to be 25 sine uh, 25 cos 200 phi t that's what, what we're going to end up with so let's go ahead and express this one right here so we are going to have after the differentiation we are going to have omega c plus 25 cos 200 phi t and this is delta phi of t is also you can uh, name it as delta omega i of t because this is the angle of frequency so 
if you divide this one by 2 phi then that gives you delta f delta f is equal to delta f of t is equal to delta phi of t divided by 2 phi and if you divide this one by 2 phi then uh, omega is 2 phi fc and if you divide by 2 phi then this is going to be just fc and then if you divide this one by 2 phi you're going to get 10 cos 200 phi t and from this one we can uh, find out the delta f because 2 delta f is equal to 2 times delta f is equal to fc plus 10 okay we omit the cost part of it fc plus 10 minus fc minus 10 and here we don't have to plug fc value here because fc fc will be gone if we get rid of the bracket then uh, here we have 10 and then this is minus minus so th this is going to be plus 20 hertz and that one is 2 delta f so therefore delta f is going to be 10 hertz okay that's the part b of it <coughs> okay that's a uh, frequency deviation delta f and the c part is asking find the phase deviation similar process for the phase deviation similar to this what we do is uh, 2 delta phi is equal to omega c plus 25 minus omega c minus 25 and here we don't have to substitute omega c because it cancels with the when we remove the bracket and then here 20 minus minus 20 that's going to be 45 and that's equivalent to 2 delta phi therefore delta phi is going to be just this one divided by 2 so that's 20 phi okay that's the part of it <clears throat> and the deep part is asking estimate the bandwidth of phi m now bandwidth can be calculated using this equation 2 fm plus 2 delta f and we know that fm from this equation here here fm is the frequency right here if you write this one of 2 phi f t then f is going to be 100 <coughs> so 100 times 2 that's 200 and then 2 delta f delta f is equal to 10 hertz and 2 delta f is going to be 20 so totally bandwidth is 220 hertz and that's our bandwidth for the 5 m okay and that's it for this video i hope you guys found this video helpful thanks for watching don't forget to subscribe my channel see you guys on my next video